as you can imagine, feeling is running pretty high about now, and there's reason for it. If everything goes according to plan, we'll soon see the largest explosion ever set off on the face of the Earth. It looked less and less promising for the design. And he was really up a tree. He was, he was in despair. We'd invested all that time, the country had invested all that time, and we still didn't have a hydrogen bomb to balance Joe One and the Soviet army on the ground in Europe. So he was really in very bad shape. And then Ulam figured that you could use the incredible energy from one fission explosion to set off another fission explosion and something that was physically attached. And it dawned on him one day that you could probably use this same process to set off the hydrogen. His wife remembered it well. He was looking out the window of their house in Santa Fe into the back garden. And he said, I think I figured it out. And she said, what? And he said, the world will never be the same. In his daydream, Ulam conceived of a way to ignite hydrogen fusion and keep it burning. That was the easy part. Now he had to sell the idea to Dr. Teller. Their motto was Saturn by 70. But unlike NASA's engineers, the physicists behind Project Orion fully intended to don spacesuits and fly these missions themselves. Oh yes, we were really space cadets and ready to go any time. Orion would eject nuclear weapons in flight. The explosions would impact a shock-absorbing pressure plate, accelerating the vehicle to interplanetary speeds. The theory was tested using chemical explosives. All that was needed for the full-scale version was a ready supply of leftover nuclear weapons. First we got the bomb, and that was good, because we love peace and motherhood. Then Russia got the bomb, but that's okay, because the balance of power is maintained that way. Who's next? France got the bomb, but don't you grieve, because they're on our side, I believe. China got the bomb, but have no fears. They can't wipe us out for at least five years. Who's next? Who's next?